messages. We'll be right back. All right, so there were no messages. Of course, I was just playing around. But hey, YouTubers, what's up? It's been a while since I've recorded anything for you guys. And I just decided that I was going to record. Because I had some things to say, of course. And I had a topic I wanted to talk about. I know you guys have seen in the news lately uh, about the, um, oh, his last name is Deal. I do know that much. I can't remember his first name at the moment. But he was a father of a one-year-old who, it, this was in Arizona, who said that he had locked the vehicle. He locked the vehicle with the child in the vehicle and he needed assistance in getting her out. Now, when assistance arrived by way of police, he said that he did not want them to break the window. They had to get permission from a higher up to be able to break the window to get her out because he was refusing. He refused a tow truck that was too pricey, he said even though his one-year-old is locked in a hot car in Arizona. Um, he would not allow his brother, the child's uncle, to break the window either. He had the girlfriend who he had an argument with, which is, you know, oh, let me, let me, let me talk about that some. He was having an argument with the girlfriend and he put the baby in the car. He went back upstairs to get his phone and he claimed she wouldn't give him his phone and he proceeded to argue with her while the baby was in the car okay now we're gonna go back to where I was so he gets to the car the baby's locked into the car right so he calls the the whatever the, the police he calls the tow truck he calls he didn't want to break his window because he said it was gonna be too expensive to fix on his new car it was an Altima. It's an Altima. Okay? So there's that problem. You're worried about the price of a broken window, but your child is locked in the vehicle. All right. So she's locked in this vehicle. You don't want to pay for her to get out of the vehicle, be a locksmith, or them to break your window because you feel like it's going to be too expensive to fix this window. So you don't let them break the window right and um she dies when the cops got her out of the car they said that rigor mortis had set in rigor mortis takes two to six hours to set in and i believe on a hot day it will probably be a quicker process so it will probably be closer to the two hours than the six Right? Well, no, actually, it might not be because it, the body's warm. So it it might take longer to, to rigor mortis to set in because the body is warm. So I'm incorrect about that. And I, I know a little bit about how rigor mortis works. I'm not a, a science expert, but I did look it up to see how long it takes to set in. Two to six hours. But it was warm, so, it, you know, probably took a little longer. So rigor mortis has set in. Of course, they're going to do an autopsy to find out how she died when her approximate time of death was things like that if rigor mortis had set in and it was warm the cops said it took them about an hour before they finally relented and ended up breaking the window because she the father said she fell asleep and he had the air conditioning going in the car and that she was okay because the air conditioning was on in the car and she had fallen asleep she had not fallen asleep. She was dead. She was dead. Okay. So she's dead. They pull her out. They say rigor mortis is set in. You see all these factors that are not adding up? How is she in the car for only an hour, but rigor mortis is set in? And it's a warm day. And it takes two to six hours. My theory is, Mr. Deal put that child in the car dead. I don't know if the girlfriend had anything to do with it because she's not the baby's mother. She is, I believe she might be the mother of his son. I'm not sure because he does have a son as well. I don't know. They didn't really give us details. 
I don't know if something happened at her house with them. And he put the baby in the car. Maybe that caused an argument between him and her because he know he had hurt the baby. She or he or she had hurt the baby. Or the baby got hurt. He came over there and the baby was already dead and maybe still in the car. I don't know. It's a couple of theories I have, but those are just two of two. Well, it's more than a couple of theories I have, but that's just two of the theories I have. I'm not buying that. She was put into the car and she wasn't dead because who? Who in their right mind or even their wrong mind would refuse to have their child broken out of a car and it's a hot ass day? I don't I don't know anybody that would do that that has any kind of sense in caring for their child would put their child in a car and let their child be that their child die basically. I don't I don't know anyone. It doesn't add up. There is definitely something wrong. This happens all the time in Florida, unfortunately. This was in Arizona like I said. But especially in hotter states, you should definitely be more cautious about making sure your children don't get locked up in the car. Here's another detail that makes all this sketchy. And I definitely know about this, even though I don't have a push start car. He claims his key was locked in the car of a push start car. When you have a push start car and your key is in the car, it won't lock. I'll go further to say, because it's a Nissan Altima, there's a button on the outside. They did some research on this as well. There's a button on the outside that allows you to open your car. And you had a brand new Nissan Altima. So I don't see where they would take that feature off of the car. That's an excellent feature. That's a helpful feature. Why would they remove that from the car? Keyless entry. Keys in the car, but the car's locked. Mm -mm. Something in the milk ain't clean. And I'm going I'm to say that to the cows. Come on. Something in the milk ain't clean. This little girl was murdered, I feel. And even if he didn't murder her before she got into the vehicle, by you, <clears throat> excuse me, refusing to make sure she gets out of the vehicle and let them break the window and do everything they need to do, you attribute it to her death. And you should be found guilty. You should be in jail. He's out on bond. He shouldn't have got bond, if you ask me. That's how I feel. On his Facebook page, under the post of his car, people were losing their minds on him. A family member said, and I don't feel like this part is true, that, that an autopsy revealed that she was strangled. There's, an, I don't think an autopsy comes back that fast, ma'am. I'm just going to be real. I don't think an autopsy will come back that fast. So I'm I'm not thinking that that is true. I'm thinking they maybe say that because they think that and they wanted to plant guilt on this person in our heads. But we already condemned this man because you shouldn't have left that baby in the car in the first place. That's how we all feel. Most of us feel that way anyway. So I'm not really buying homie's story about him locking her up in the car because of the keyless entry, because of this saying rigor mortis is set in, because of his refusal to let them break the window. It seems like he was covering something up to me. And I feel like it's going to come out in a wash that he's guilty as sin. That is what I feel. And we shall see. We shall see what's going to happen. So, I'll be back with an update. Um, I know somebody else is doing a, a story on this. She may have more on hers. 
So when she posts hers, which I don't know if she's going to post it today, tomorrow, when she's going to post it, hopefully I can link it to mine. And she can give you more details. But yeah, she, she, yeah, he, he, if you ask me, he killed her. And it was his fault. That's why I feel. Make sure you rate this video, comment, subscribe, like, share, all of that good stuff. Um, check out my social media accounts, which will be in the comment section below. Make sure you follow me. I'll follow back. You know, follow my Instagram, my Facebook page. You know, I have all that information down there. But I thank you for taking your time to come here. Because you know I don't post that often. But I am going to start posting more. Because I'm more on my podcast. Which I'm going to include that link to. There are more episodes on my podcast than there are, of course, on my YouTube. But I'll link that below as well. But you guys have a fantastic weekend. It's Friday right now. I'm going to post this today. And maybe tomorrow. I'll maybe post it for tomorrow. But you guys have a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your day. Make sure you keep it lit like juju. And enjoy your life. Have a good one. I'm out. Peace.